So guys, in today's CEX £10 retro video game challenge, we're going to be heading on straight up to Stourbridge to see what we can find there. So let me stop waffling on and let's go and have a look and see what awesome retro games they've got. <laughs> with the condition? Yeah, the condition's pretty good. Right, so there you go. I wonder if you guessed which retro game I took away before I actually show you what it is, because there was quite a few there that I could have actually have done in £10 or under. But the one that I chose to take away was exactly £10. And that wasn't an N64 game like it has been in the last two videos. I went a little bit older this time, but stuck with Nintendo. And that's F-Zero for the Super Nintendo. How cool is that? Clearly unboxed, but I have no issue what an iconic futuristic racing game F-Zero is. You know, I can't believe I've not actually had it in my collection already. So it was an absolute no-brainer. It's in quite nice condition. Possibly argue that there's a little bit of yellow in here and there, but I have no problem with taking this away for a tenner. Guys, that's the £10 CEX Retro Video Game Challenge for Stourbridge. If you have any ideas or any suggestions for future challenges, future challenge ideas and such for CEX, or I suppose any other game shop for that matter, but with CEX being so common for retro gaming in the UK, whack it in the comments below and let me know. I can have a right laugh with this one. Obviously, there's the guys that sometimes show up in other videos, my friends, so we can get them involved. Is there any way I can get you guys involved? Just stick some ideas down below for challenges going forward, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Look, consider liking and subscribing if you've not already. Please take care of yourself, and I'll see you again for another video soon.